Right now at 11, George Santos replaced the winner just projected in the race to fill the vacant House seat. Let's get right to it right now at 11. I'm Natalie Pascarella. And I'm David Ushery. Voters on Long Island and in Queens turned out to the polls today to cast their ballots in what's been seen as a bellwether in the fight for control of Congress. Democrat Tom Suozzi facing off with Republican Mozzie Pillip in the race for expelled Congressman George Santos' seat. And just about 30 minutes ago, NBC News projected former Congressman Tom Suozzi as the winner. Here's a look at where the results stand right now. With 83 percent precincts reporting, Democrat Tom Suozzi has 54 percent of the votes. Republican Mozzie Pillip trailing behind with 45 percent. We have reporters positioned with both campaigns tonight. We start out with News Force Greg Sergal live at Suozzi's headquarters in Woodbury. Greg. Natalie and David, this was an unlikely and relatively easy victory for a three-term congressman who just two years ago lost a primary bid for New York governor and thought his political career was over. But now Tom Suozzi is again a congressman-elect, and his supporters here in Woodbury are in the midst of a celebration. Suozzi took the stage a short time ago after his Republican opponent, Mozzie Pillip, uh, called him to concede, and Suozzi's first words to the this crowd were, thank God. He said that despite all the attacks, all the lies, and the dirty tricks, we won this race. He called it a difficult race. It was intense, with millions spent on advertising. But Swazi told the crowd here tonight, we won because we addressed issues and because we found a way to bind the wounds that divide us. Let's send a message to our friends running the Congress these days. Stop running around for Trump and start running the country. It's time to find common ground and start delivering for the people of the United States of America. The people are watching. They want us to start working together. So our message is very clear. Either get on board or get out of the way. Swazi seemed to send a message to his fellow Democrats tonight when he said it's time to carry this message across the country and find a way to take the country back from those who seek to divide us. Now, this victory, very unexpected, as I said, in a county where uh, Democrats have not fared well over the last couple of years. But tonight, a victory for them. Tom Swazi moving on as the new congressman-elect replacing George Santos. We're live in Woodbury. Greg Sergal, News 4 New York. Yeah, Greg, certainly been a lot of political turbulence in that district. Republican Mozzie Pillip conceded to her opponent early this evening. So let's get out to News 4's Andrew Sipp, who's in East Meadow at her election headquarters. Andrew. Right, David, the people who are remaining here in a quickly emptying ballroom, somewhat stunned. There were a lot of prominent Republicans here tonight, former Congressman Peter King, current County Executive Bruce Blakeman. They all sounded upbeat. They seemed convinced that Mozzie Pillip could win this race because of her backstory. She was a soldier in Israel and because of her message to close the border. And this was a seat where Republican George Santos won by 20,000 votes just 15 months ago. But the seat is now back in the hands of Democrats. Mozzie Pillip took the stage just before 10.30 p.m. and conceded the race. I did call my opponent. I congratulated him. And uh, I love you. You guys are great, amazing. I'm so proud to be part of this amazing organization, the Republican Party. And we're going to continue to fight because we are not going to give up. We're going to bring common sense government. I promise you. Thank you. God bless you. God bless America. Now, Mozzie Pillip said she would continue to fight. The question is whether she will be the one fighting when this seat is up for general election in November. Remember, today was only a special election. Will she be the Republican nominee? That remains to be seen. We're live at East Meadow. Andrew Siff, News 4 New York.